What's up guys? Today I want to talk about the importance of reminding yourself constantly how much of a chad you are. <laughs> Me and Hamza have been discussing this concept uh, quite a lot recently where basically your self-perception, the way you perceive yourself, your success, who you are is like here and where you actually are is more like here. And there's always this gap. There's always this gap. Now the reason this gap is there is because you haven't yet reaped the rewards of being up here and so you're being treated the same way you were when you were down here and a lot of your self-perception and how you see yourself is based on how other people treat you it's also based on how you see yourself obviously which is why i want to talk about today a practice which you can do which will help you close this gap a little bit it's called accomplishment journaling i've set it in a part of my morning routine along with gratitude journaling which has its own benefits but i think it's incredibly important to start the day and immediately remind yourself the good things that you're doing so i'm going to read you a part of my accomplishment journal which i did this morning and hopefully that gives you a better understanding of what this practice is you have stayed Stayed another month in Thailand. This will be month two. Two months away from the comfort of your home, your friends, and your family, your sense of familiarity. You are a Chad in the making. <laughs> None of your older friends even understand the caliber of man you are becoming. You will return home an entirely different person, the boy to man transformation. Girls are actually attracted and reciprocate the energy you bless them with. This has never been the case before. They want you because you are the man. That's just three small parts of my accomplishment journal that I did this morning. I did five parts. You can write for pages how much of a chad you are if you wish. It's very important to do this practice and take some time out of your day to remind yourself, oh yeah, I am the shit. Because once again, our self-perception is like so much lower than what it actually should be all the time because of this adaptation period because we're just constantly growing if you're anything like me anyway if you're not growing that's because you're staying inside of your comfort zone growth is outside of your comfort zone get the fuck out of your comfort zone <laughs> i find this concept of this constant gap really interesting and i'd love to hear anyone else's thoughts on how better we can close that gap especially if you've been doing like the wrong things for a really long time like i was i'm only just sort of escaping this feeling of feeling like this loser gamer with bad posture and just pale skin and shit like it took me so long to do that when in reality like i've been doing bits for the last like one to two years now i think one of the best things you can do for your self-image and your self-perception is exercise build your aesthetic physique it will seep into every single part of life and make every single part of your life better you will get treated better in business in relationships out in the street you will get an instant amount of respect i've seen that i've seen that here i'm with hamza and a guy named jack who's just got this big fucking gorilla frame and i've seen the immediate respect that they get from having that. And again, that is gonna feed into their image of themselves so highly. It's one of the main motivating factors as to why I've just started my bulk because I had this idea in my head. I'm going a bit off topic here, I'm sorry, but I'll carry on anyway. I've had this image in my head of like, oh yeah, like, you know, my body type, it would suit the uh, skinny fuckboy lean with abs physique, you know? Kind of like the Zac Efron type of shit. Like, I don't know what Zac Efron's doing nowadays, actually, I think. I think Zac Efron's quite big nowadays, but like old Zac Efron. <laughs> I mean, while that might be true, I might attract like some fucking girls and shit, like ooh, whatever. I'd be attracting girls, not women. And women want a big masculine man who has a good frame, generally speaking. Now that's not to say I'm gonna get fucking incredible Hulk, I'm like, you know what I mean? But it's like, you almost wanna look too big for pictures. And you'll find that when you meet these people who look too big for pictures in real life they actually just have a really nice aesthetic frame i'm getting too far ahead of myself anyway <laughs> that's a few years down the line for me i think right now my goal is uh in a year's time i want to be 80 kg and right now i am 64 kg right anyway i'm getting off topic so the importance of remembering how much of a chad you are your accomplishments constantly remind yourself of your accomplishments and who you are and what you're doing. Because the way you behave and the way you interact with the world is ultimately a reflection of yourself. 
how you see yourself. If you think that you are the shit and you are the man, you're not gonna have any problems at all with approaching a girl and telling her you think they're pretty, for example. But if you think that you're this loser, skinny, fat, fucking gamer with pale skin, you're gonna have a really hard time trying to convince yourself to walk up to that girl. All right, guys, I hope this was helpful. Take care.